Hello, it's Amy's story time. Hello, I'm Maggie, and today I will tell you about an incident that I was the culprit. Unlike the vast majority of girls, I'm a huge fan of football. You could never imagine my overwhelming love for football. Ever since I was a kid, I was passionate about watching football and playing it. Many people would think that I'm weird, but I think it's totally okay. Not every girl loves playing with dolls. Of course, my parents didn't want me to play football, but back then they didn't ban me from playing it. So after school, I got gathered with the boys and play football with them. I don't want to show off, but I was quite a skilled footballer at that time. However, after a time, I broke my leg while playing football. My parents scolded me severely and banned me from playing it since then. I had persuaded my parents many times and promised to be more careful, but they still didn't change their mind. During the two months being detained at home, I missed football more than ever. I really missed the feeling of running on the grass and playing with my friends. And at that time, I decided that I could secretly play football. As I could not give that hobby up that easily, I lied to my parents that after school I had to stay for extra classes to catch up with my classmates after a long break at home to recover from that accident. I also told them that they did not have to pick me up, and I would walk home, as I was not sure when the class could end, and they believed me right away. Every time I came home after a football match, I would rush to my room to have a bath and wash my socks. After that, I could have to hide them away so that my parents could not see them. Everything went smoothly until one day, when I was looking around for a safe place to hide my socks, my mom showed up and asked me about the extra classes. I was so panicked and was standing right next to the fireplace, so I had no choice but to put the socks inside it. However, because I had to think real hard to answer each of my mom questions, I totally forgot about the socks. And after that, my family went out for dinner. While we were enjoying our dinner, my dad received a phone call from a neighbor. I couldn't hear clearly, but it was very noisy, and there was even the sound of the fire truck. At that time, I was worried to death. As I started to remember about my pair of socks that I put inside the fireplace, after the call, Dad urged us to leave as our house was on fire. Both I and Mom were really shocked at this news, and we rushed home in no time. When we got home, everything was gone. My beloved home was then just a pile of ashes. My parents burst into tears while I was very afraid. Because I did know that I was the one setting my house on fire. After that incident, there were times that I wanted to confess to my parents, but I was not brave enough and decided to keep it to myself. Fortunately, no one was home that day, and no one was injured. What makes me feel most guilty was that my family had to live in the car while waiting for compensation from insurance and the police investigating the cause of the fire. Actually, until now, the cause is still unknown. Since I felt so guilty back then, I totally quit football, and now, even though many years have passed, I still feel the same every time I come home to visit my parents. So, from my story, I hope that you guys could never lie to your parents, and please listen to them. They just want the best things coming to you. If you find this story is good for someone, don't hesitate. Send this video to them, or just post this on Facebook. Someone might need to hear this right now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. 快手，看见每一种生活。